Me personally, I do not like it. I will not eat that, but this is how you know you're in Israel when we find all of the hummus and condiment options. They have a ramen version of spaghetti, what? And have them ready to eat with shawarma, falafel sandwich. And then I'm gonna show you guys my most favorite, favorite item. Hello everybody, Danielle here. Today you're gonna find me in Tel Aviv, Israel. So I was curious, what does a grocery store look like in Israel? So what I wanted to do was bring you guys along with me so we can go ahead and see what type of items they have there. Let's go. This is how you know you're in Israel when we find all of the hummus and condiment options. So as you can see here, they have hummus, they have a red cabbage salad, they have like a tomato paste salad, they also have baba ganoush as well, which is big. They have the pickles, a lot of pickled items here. Beet salad, tabbouli. Another um, eggplant condiment here. And then different options for hummus too. So now I'm gonna take you to, so they do have Nutella here and mm, love Nutella. I mean, I think it's something that they sell also in the United States. So it's not, I don't think it's any different here, but let me show you the Israeli version of Nutella here. So this specific chocolate here is called, I'm not sure what it's called to be honest, but I know that it's Parve. So Parve is something um, in the, Jewish diet so basically in the Jewish religion you're not allowed to consume any meat products at the same time as dairy products so that's why they actually made products that are called parve that do not contain any milk in it so that way people can go ahead and eat it you know at the same time that they're eating something with meat or if they want to eat it shortly after they create something like this which is parve that they're able to eat right away this specific chocolate, I would say it doesn't taste anything like Nutella. It's much sweeter. And in my opinion, Nutella is a lot better. But this one is really good too. Um, and very commonly eating in a Jewish or Israeli household. So here they also have a lot of Milka products. So Milka is actually a brand I'm not exactly sure where it's from specifically maybe Switzerland I'm not sure don't quote me on that but those products are actually really good and in the United States only very select markets that are able to get it imported have them but I guess here in Israel they're able easily accessible and they have a lot of these Oreo products I'm gonna have to go ahead and try some of these just to see how it compares to the one in the US now we have a lot of Israeli snacks and cookies. So as you can see here, Israel is really big on chocolate. I mean, I love chocolate. I don't understand you people that don't love chocolate, but they do have a lot of it here, as you can see. Now let's go on to the chips aisle. So they definitely have a lot of Lay's here, you know, standard. But as you can see, it's written in Hebrew. They have different flavors here. And they also have Doritos. Look how it's written in the Hebrew language as well. So those are big. And now I'm gonna take you to the Israeli chips. So this right here is called Beastly. So this is, um, these are chips that are really native to Israel that are actually made out of like a wheat flour type of thing super crunchy super flavorful and they have different flavors like this one right here I believe is barbecue I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's barbecue um, they have even a falafel flavor which are little sticks that kind of remind me of those little Mexican can uh, chips that are kind of like little sticks they also have uh, I'm not sure which flavor this one is this one as well and this one here. The look of it kind of changed over the years from when I was eating it as a kid, so I'm not sure what those specific flavors are, but they're really good. I really recommend trying them if you're gonna try Israeli snacks. Now here's another 
very specific to Israel snack. This is called Bamba. Mm, this is one of my favorites here. If you are a peanut butter lover, you are definitely going to love this. So these are peanut butter snacks. They're um, puff snacks, so if you've ever tried like Cheeto puffs or hot Cheeto puffs, just imagine that in peanut butter flavor. I know it may sound weird, but mm, these are super good. If you're a peanut butter lover, I imagine you're gonna love these. So definitely try it out, bamba. Then they have, remember as we saw with the cereal, they have these little chocolate filled um, snacks here too that are super crunchy. As I remember I said, chocolate is really big here in Israel. And now, these are kind of um, other things that you can just have at home. And something specific to Israel, they do like to eat a lot of something called begale. So begale, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's pretzel, but this one is more of like a cookie. Not a cookie, but like, just imagine a savory type of cookie and it has a lot of sesame seeds on it. That's something pretty common that they do here, eat here in Israel as well. They eat, eat a lot of pretzels, actually, I would say. So if you see here, they have their collection of pretzels. Then they eat, remember I mentioned that they like eating that yogurt and cheese. They like to put it on these type of crackers here. And now let's move on and see what else we find. gosh I can't believe they have this here this right here is something that's very commonly eaten in Israel I forgot the name of it if I'm not mistaken it's called Rugalech so it's basically kind of like a pastry of um, dough and it has chocolate sprinkled into it and as well as honey on top this is super delicious very typical Jewish um, dessert and they have different kinds. They actually have one that has poppy seeds in it. I know it sounds weird, but if you like poppy seeds, then you will be able to see it. Here are some of the bakery items here. A lot of croissants, as you see. And then they're really big on bagels here. So they have some bagels, some pretzel buns. Remember I told you they like pretzels. And then of course they have pita, mm, pita bread. Pita bread is really big here in Israel. Now let's take a look at this other side. They have buecas. So I mentioned those to you earlier. These are little puff pastries that are filled with savory items such as potato, cheese, ground beef, and then even this one here is pizza flavored. Mm, that's something that I think, you know, if other people are trying from different cultures and they're a little picky, I think they will really enjoy the buecas. So definitely give it a try. So now we're here at the candy aisle. So they do have some pretty known brands in like in the United States, such as Skittles, some Twizzlers, some Werther's. But if you see here, um, they do eat a lot of like candy ropes and um, these little strips here. You can actually find them when you go to the Shoop or the flea market. They have a lot of stands that sell those too. Um, and they also do like to eat a lot of marshmallow here. I noticed, okay. So now to the chocolate, you can see they have a lot of Kinder products. Um, that's not native here to Israel, but just like the Milka, I believe they get them imported and they like to eat that a lot here. Now, if you see here, they do love malt candy. So remember we talked about the malt beer? They like malt candy too. Um, so I think these are equivalent to Whoppers that we eat in the United States. Um, but I noticed that they do have those a lot here. This is the chocolate, which is a specific brand to Israel here. It's actually really good. I like it a lot. And then we see the milkas, and those are more of the Israeli chocolates. Let's, let's go inside and we'll see first. Because in front, they're already gonna say get out. So here we are in the frozen section um, and they contain a lot of items here that you can obviously take home and reheat. So the first thing that I saw here is of course we're in Israel. 
So I see they have kebabs. Look at that. Frozen and ready to go for you to eat. Um, they even have something that looks like burger patties here. Um, and then you can even see that they have little sausages and shawarma, I believe. Mmm, I love shawarma. Okay, let's see what else they have here. They usually like to eat a lot of, you know, chicken nuggets, chicken patties, corn patties, fish patties here, I've noticed. I mean, to be honest, I think every culture does eat that too, but I think that's something that's really big here in Israel specifically. And something I noticed that every single grocery store is going to have is going to be your boekas, which is a staple dish here in Israel. So as you can see, they have it in the frozen section um, here, ready for you to enjoy and take home. I believe this one is cheese flavor, and this one I'm not too sure either. But they have them ready so you can just take it home, cook it up, and serve it to your family. <clears throat> so something I noticed here in Israel is they have a huge emphasis on veganism as well as vegetarianism and I noticed here in the supermarket they have a little section here that you can find um, that has a lot of vegan options here so you see they have like burger patties um, some chicken nuggets of some sort, some type of hot dogs, um, some more burger patties, and they even have the Beyond Meat here too. So something interesting. I had no idea that Israel was so big on veganism here. So if you're curious to see <clears throat> what their brand of soap body washes look like here, I guess here they use a lot of head and shoulders in Pantene as well. So something big about Israeli food is they use a lot of seasoning in their food. Um, I'm not sure exactly what type, I believe like, you know, paprika, garlic powder and different types of seasoning. So they have their whole collection here. that you can find as well. And they even have it in bag form. So here we can find, um, I guess, Israel's version of ramen. You can see the Hebrew writing here. I'm not sure exactly which flavor this is here. This one kind of looks like spaghetti. It actually is spaghetti, it says so right here. So they have a ramen version of spaghetti, what? You can even see the little tomatoes there. That's cool. Oh, that's something I wanna try out. I think I'm gonna take one of these with me home too. So this here is actually a popular item that they eat. Um, these are actually their soup croutons, also called shkedim. So these are something that you can go ahead and put into some chicken soup and enjoy. I love the flavor of this. I actually grew up eating this in my soup as well. And I would just eat them honestly like a snack because they're so good. Love them. So something big in Israel is the Israeli pickles. This is something that comes in a jar and they cut these babies up and have them ready to eat with shawarma, falafel sandwich, with just a plate with boekas. And this is honestly, for me, the best pickles there are. I'll say hands down. Um, they're super crunchy and they definitely have a different flavor than the typical pickles that you can see you know on an american burger or something i personally think these are amazing they actually put like a little bit of chilies in it to make it a little spicy but mm, i love these and then while we're talking about that i'm going to show you guys the olive collection here too so something similar too i don't know what it is about these canned products but even these olives mm, they're so delicious a lot of people use olives in israeli cooking 
and also have them on the side of food as well to eat but uh, these ones in these cans are so good and the good thing about living in United States or in California Los Angeles specifically is I can find all of these products in local Israeli kosher markets so I still am able to enjoy them when I'm at home So something else that they eat in Israel is called pate, which is kind of like a meat mixture. It's kind of like a spread. I believe that originates in France, if I'm not mistaken. But I know that people in Israel do love to eat this thing. They like to spread it on some bread, some toast, and eat that too. Me personally, I do not like it. I will not eat that. But hey, you know, it's worth a try if you haven't tried something like that. So here in Israel, they do love to eat lots of yogurt for everything. Um, and not only in a sweet manner, but also in savory. So these are the type of yogurts that they will eat <clears throat> in the morning with some toast, spread on some crackers or something. Um, I know they also eat something called labne. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to look for it here. Um, but like I said, something really big in Israel. Um, you know, pr pretty much eaten at all times of day. So of course, lots of cheeses. Here in Israel, they're really big on cheeses. And then of course, more yogurt, more yogurt. And then I'm gonna show you guys my most favorite, favorite item, Israeli item that I love here. This is called milky. Mm. You encounter this, you're gonna be dreaming about this every time you think about Israeli food. So it's actually a chocolate pudding um, and topped with some whipped cream. And this thing is heavenly. I mean, the products of dairy here in Israel are actually super delicious. So eating this, oh my God, this is definitely one treat that you wanna try if trying Israeli food. Oh, I just found my other favorite item. So this is their chocolate milk, okay? I'm gonna show you guys something called Shoko Besakit, okay? So this is actually called Shoko Besakit that translates into um, milk chocolate, I'm sorry, chocolate milk in a bag. So this right here, what we do is we go ahead and bite the corner and then we just drink it directly from this bag. Oh my god, this chocolate milk is the, definitely the best one that I've ever eaten. I mean, sorry, that I've ever drank in my whole life. Um, and it's something that I always look forward to uh, trying when I'm here in Israel. So let's take a look at the cereals here. So they're really big on cereals that have like a chocolate filling um, with kind of like a cracker or something on the inside. This one is really delicious. I know there's another brand that I usually um, eat when I'm when I'm trying um, Israeli food, but I'm not sure if they have that one specifically here. As you can see, they have like an Oreo version of it here. And then another brand, mm, like they have like mini churro cereal. I actually saw that that's something new um, that they have in grocery stores, even in United States. And I mean, churros, who doesn't love churros? So I'm going to show you guys, I mean, here in Israel, as anywhere in the world, they love beer. So the famous beer here in Israel is actually, to be honest, I can't read it, but I believe it's one of these ones right here. This one's called Gold Star. I'm not sure if they have them called Black, um, Black Star as well, but it's kind of like a malt type of beer. So as you can see here, it says all malt. Um, so that's something that they like to enjoy, you know, sitting on the beach or just having a dinner. Um, and it actually tastes really, really good. I personally do like it. So that's something um, that you'll definitely see here in Israel. 
So now let's get into one of my favorite things in Israel is going to be the ice creams. So as you can see, they do have the brand Magnum here. A lot of different flavors and these are ones that I'm not able to find um, in the United States and these ones actually taste a lot better than the one in the United States as well. They also have their version of Nestle too. And man, when I'm telling you, these ice creams are much, much better than the ones in the United States. It's the dairy products here. I mean, honestly, everywhere I travel to, I feel like the dairy is better everywhere besides the United States. I'm not sure what it is, but so good. Let's see what else they have here. So here in Israel, they're also big on these little dried sausages um, that are actually just eaten like this. Um, you don't have to heat them up. These specific ones don't need to be refrigerated, but they're so good and they're so addicting. Um, have really good flavor to it too. So I noticed I eat a lot of that in Israel. And then here in Israel, they also drink a lot of different juices. That's something that's super big here. As you can see, they have an orange juice. This one is kiwi. This is a strawberry, apple. And this is something that they offer, you know, in any Israeli household that you go over to, they invite you to dinner. They're going to definitely have some juice ready for you to drink. And of course, all right, so that wraps up my little grocery tour. I'm thankful that I was actually familiar with some of these snacks from my childhood. So that way I can explain it a little bit more to you guys. So what do you guys think? Would you guys try some of this? Do you think you would like it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like for me and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. It was a pleasure. Bye.